Each morning as you open your eyes, you breathe in some fresh air, feel the beat of your heart, and move your body with ease. These are not just simple acts. They are amazing gifts from a loving God who sustains us every single day. Have you ever paused to truly thank Him for the breath in your lungs, the strength in your limbs, and the ability to speak and connect with others? In a world that rushes forward, where our focus often lands on what we lack, it is crucial to remember and appreciate the blessings we already have. Today, let us embark on a journey of heartfelt gratitude, thanking Jesus for His boundless goodness. Join me as we dig deep into the importance of showing our gratitude to God, acknowledging the miracles, abundance, and breakthroughs He graciously bestows upon us. My beloved friends, it gladdens my heart to welcome you to today's prayer, where we explore the depths of God's love for us and express our gratitude to Jesus for His goodness in our lives. Gratitude is a powerful expression of our faith, a way to acknowledge the many blessings we receive daily. When we appreciate God for what He has done for us, we provoke Him to do even more in our lives. The Bible reminds us of the importance of thanksgiving in numerous passages. Let us begin by reflecting on Psalm 7, verse 17, which states, I will give thanks to the Lord because of His righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. This statement was made by David, a man after God's heart showing us that our gratitude is rooted in recognizing God's righteousness and His sovereignty. Consider the story of the ten lepers in Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 19. Jesus healed all ten lepers, but only one returned to thank Him. Jesus asked, Were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? This story teaches us the significance of expressing gratitude. It is not just about acknowledging the blessings, but also about deepening our relationship with God through thanksgiving. And as we delve deeper, let us turn to Psalm 100, verses 4 and 5, which reads thus, Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. For the Lord is good and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. This scripture reminds us that gratitude is our entryway into God's presence. It is through thanksgiving that we draw nearer to Him, recognizing His enduring love and faithfulness. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16-18, through 18, we are urged to Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This passage encourages us to maintain a constant attitude of gratitude, regardless of our circumstances. It is a reminder that gratitude is not contingent on our situation, but is a continuous expression of our faith in God's goodness. Let us also reflect on Colossians chapter 2, verse 7, which advises us to be rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Our gratitude is an overflow of our faith, a natural response to being deeply rooted in Christ. It is through our thankfulness that we are strengthened and built up in our faith. Psalm 118 verse 29 calls us to give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Indeed, the Lord's goodness is everlasting and His love is eternal. Pondering on God's goodness will always leave us in awe of the love He has for us. Our thanksgiving is a recognition of His unchanging nature and His perpetual care for us. Have you seen the book of Colossians, chapter 4, verse 2? In that verse, we are reminded to devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Our prayers of gratitude are a form of devotion, 
a way to stay connected with God and be mindful of His blessings. It is through this devotion that we cultivate a heart of thankfulness. And Psalm 95 verses 1 through 3 invites us to Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and extol Him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. This passage encourages us to express our gratitude through joyful praise and worship, recognizing God's greatness and sovereignty. The power of thanksgiving is further illustrated in Psalm 9 verse 1, which declares, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Our gratitude is a testimony of God's wonderful deeds in our lives, a way to share His goodness with others and inspire them to acknowledge His blessings. James Doris 1 verse 17 reminds us that every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Our gratitude acknowledges that every blessing we receive is a gift from God, unchanging and perfect in His provision. Finally, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 28, encourages us to be thankful, saying, Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Our gratitude is a response to the unshakable kingdom we have in Christ, a call to worship God with reverence and awe. As we prepare our hearts for prayer, let us remember the importance of gratitude. It is not merely a polite gesture, but a deep expression of our faith and recognition of God's goodness in our lives. Stay with us until the end to allow your hearts to receive the full blessings of this blessed prayer from Jesus. I encourage you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Now, let us bow our heads and pour out our hearts in a prayer of thanksgiving to our most righteous, holy, faithful, magnificent, powerful, and ever-living Father. Let us pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We thank you for the dawn of each new morning and for granting us a peaceful sleep during the night. We also thank you for the breath of life that fills our lungs and for waking us up to yet another beautiful day. Each new day, is a testament to your unending love and faithfulness. We are grateful for the opportunity to wake up and experience the miracles, abundance, and breakthroughs that you bring into our lives. Thank you for our loved ones and for our family and friends who surround us with love and support. They are a reflection of your unconditional love towards us. We cherish the relationships that you have blessed us with, and we are grateful for the moments of joy and comfort that we share with them. Thank you for protecting and preserving us, for being our shield and our refuge. In times of trouble and uncertainty, you are our constant source of strength and peace. We are grateful for your consistent presence in our lives, for guiding us through every challenge and bringing us safely through every storm we face. Thank you, dear Jesus, for your incredible sacrifice on the cross of Calvary. Your death and resurrection have given us freedom and life. We are grateful for the redemption that we have in you, for the forgiveness of our sins and the promise of eternal life. Your sacrifice is the ultimate expression of your love and we are forever thankful for that. Thank you for our careers, jobs, and businesses. You have blessed the work of our hands and caused us to flourish according to your goodness. 
We are grateful for the opportunities that you bring our way and for the wisdom that you give us to navigate each day. Your provision is evident in every aspect of our lives, and we are thankful for your abundant blessings. Thank you for your amazing power at work in our lives and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Your Spirit guides us, comforts us, and empowers us to live according to your will. We are grateful for the strength and courage that you give us through your Spirit and for how you transform us from the inside out. Thank you for being a light that illuminates our path and for your truth that propels us towards righteousness. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We are grateful for the guidance and direction that you provide. We thank you for leading us in the way of truth and righteousness. Father, we come before you with heartfelt gratitude for the blessings that we often overlook. We thank you for the gift of laughter, for the moments of joy that brighten our days and lift our spirits. Thank you for the simple things that you have done for us, which are a testament to your immense love and care for us. Where do we start from? We cannot tell it all, Lord, but we see your hand move in certain situations. We are grateful for the small blessings that we often take for granted, for the daily provisions and the moments of joy that you bring into our lives. Lord, we thank you for the wonders of creation, for the birds that sing, for the animals, flowers and trees, for the lakes, fountains and streams, for the sun, the moon, and the stars. Your creation is a beautiful reflection of your glory, and we are grateful for the opportunity to witness and enjoy its beauty. Thank you for the beauty of the seasons, for the changing of the times that reflect your creativity and power, for the blossoming of spring, the warmth of summer, the harvest of autumn, and the stillness of winter. We are grateful for the ways that you reveal yourself through the natural world and for the reminders of your faithfulness in the cycles of life. Thank you for good health, for providing for our needs, and for giving us food daily. We are grateful for your provision and for how you sustain us. Your care for us is evident in every aspect of our lives, and we are thankful to you for caring this much about us. Thank you for being our peace and strength in this chaotic world. In times of uncertainty and fear, you are our anchor and our source of calm. We are grateful for the peace that surpasses all understanding, for the assurance that you are always with us, and for the strength that you give us to face each day. Thank you, Lord, for the beauty of your word, for the scriptures that guide us, teach us, and reveal your character. Father, your word is a source of wisdom, encouragement, and inspiration. We are grateful for the times when we can study and meditate on your word, finding solace and strength in its truths. Thank you for the moments of prayer and communion with you, for the privilege of coming before your throne with our praises, our requests, and our thanksgivings. We are grateful for the assurance that you hear our prayers and that you are attentive to our needs and concerns. Thank you for the fellowship of believers, for the community of faith that supports us and encourages us in our walk with you. We are grateful for the friendships and relationships that we have in the body of Christ, for the opportunities to serve and be served, to love and be loved. Thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of salvation, for the grace that saved us, for the faith that sustains us, and for the hope that awaits us. We are grateful for the assurance of eternal life, for the promise of a future with you in heaven. Your salvation is the greatest gift of all, and we are forever thankful for your incredible love and mercy.
Thank you for the blessings of technology and innovation, for the advancements that have made our lives easier, healthier, and more connected. We are grateful for the ways that technology can be used to spread your message, reach the lost, and build your kingdom. Thank you for the freedom to worship you openly and without fear, for the privilege of gathering with other believers, of singing your praises, and of proclaiming your name. We are grateful for the opportunities to share our faith with others and to be a light in a dark world. Father, we thank you for the healing that you bring to our lives, for the physical, emotional, and spiritual healing that we experience through your power. We are grateful for the ways that you restore us, renew us, and make us whole. Thank you for the guidance and direction that you provided to us, for the ways that you lead us on the right path and help us to make wise choices. We are grateful for the discernment that comes from your Spirit and for the clarity that you bring to our lives. Thank you for the opportunities to serve others and to make a difference in the world, for the ways that you use us to be a blessing to those around us. We are grateful for the times when we can share your love and compassion with others and for the joy that comes from serving you. Thank you for the challenges and trials that strengthen our faith and build our character, for the times when we are stretched and refined, learning to trust you more deeply. We are grateful for the growth that comes through adversity and for the ways that you shape us into people you want us to be. Thank you for the protection and provision that you give us each day, for the ways that you meet our needs and keep us safe. We are grateful for your faithfulness and for the assurance that you are always watching over us. Thank you for the hope that we have in you, for the promise of a future that is filled with your goodness and grace. We are grateful for the assurance that you are always with us, guiding us and leading us on the path of righteousness. Father, as we conclude this prayer of gratitude, we acknowledge that everything we have and everything we are is because of you. We are grateful for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for the countless blessings that you have poured into our lives and for how you continue to work in us and through us. We praise you, righteous Father, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for all eternity. Thank you, Lord, for listening and answering my prayer. In the mighty, precious, and powerful name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Type the words, Praise Jesus in the comments if you feel this prayer has blessed you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I proclaim all these prayer blessings cover you. I urge you to say this prayer daily to see God's work in your life. Share with us your testimonial when God works in your life in the comments so others will be inspired by the Lord's work. You can help us reach even more people and help spread the gospel by sharing this video with a family member or friend. And remember to subscribe and like our videos to reach others. Our channel will keep you uplifted and help your relationship with the Lord. Leave any prayer requests below so our holy family can pray for you. Additionally, others on this platform and globally seeing this can pray for you. All glory belongs to God alone. May the amazing grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ dwell within each of you.